Hello everybody and welcome back to more Voidiger. We are back once again and we're going to jump in and play as the new character, this guy here. I did actually record a run previously uh, that I have since scrapped, so I apologise for that. There was supposed to be an episode on Monday or Tuesday, as you guys know, um, th that would normally come along uh, for you guys. But yeah, I basically I recorded it while I was quite tired and I just wasn't really that happy with it. Um, and in terms of this, I'm going to unlock one of these random weapons here. I don't know what I'm unlocking. I'm just going to give it a go. The Cloudy Biter, and we're going to see what it's like. Because uh, I, I tried out this character's weapon, I didn't particularly like it. But yeah, we'll be trying out this guy. Um, he's kind of interesting, I didn't really get to play him much. As I said, I was really tired and the commentary just wasn't very good. And I thought, I thought better just leave it until the next episode and not upload, rather than upload an episode I'm not very happy with. It was also very short, like 20 minutes, because I died like twice really early on. So anyways, yeah, I just wasn't a big, I wasn't very happy with it. Um, so I decided to scrap it. But anyways, yeah, we're going to play as this guy. We're going to try out this new weapon, and we're going to jump in on Rogue Difficulty and see what we can get done. Essentially, this guy just has an extender arm that allows them to melee at longer ranges, which is kind of similar to the other character that also is able to melee at longer ranges. So, two characters that I feel like have incredibly similar gimmicks, um, although the gym bot one I think is better. Ooh, hell yes. Straight away, I'll be giving that heart away for 80. That is absolutely such a deal. Oh, kind of interesting. This pulls me along as it uh, as it chomps. Okay, so it kind of like charges up a chomp, and then it continues to chomp after that initial bite. I like it. Okay, so it's slow but strong by the looks of it here. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very slow, but quite strong. I'm liking this better than the other weapon. And we also get the Skeletoot. <laughs> Skeletoot, do, do, I love it. Oh, dude. Oh, wait, I'm really bad at, like, dodging the melees and those guys, but it's okay. Well, luckily, now that we've taken damage, we'll end up finding health pretty easily, I'd hope. I should try and be a little bit safer going forward. There you go, health right there. I got hit straight away again. Oh, there was a guy underneath me that I thought was dead. My bad. And he gave me health again straight away too. Play it a little bit slower, a little bit more cautious. So I'm playing a little bit like an idiot right now. I'm hoping to find the shop pretty soon, to be honest. Oh, uh, also, we have unlocked new floor types in the last episode. So we see new enemies and new bosses and stuff. It's pretty interesting. So we've got like these enemies popping up here and there. Um, and then new floor varieties, which is pretty awesome, I think. We've got a challenge room here. Um, I'd like an item, please. Um, no, I'll just take this. I, uh, I didn't actually see what the thingy was there, the challenge. Lock on. Trying to isolate the enemies to fight them one on one at the moment. Nice one. I've also disabled a few animations as well. Okay, nice, we got it. And for our items here, we get ourselves nothing great. Increased accuracy, cloud stomp, soul, combo stomp, soul, water during sprint. We'll just go with the increased accuracy, I think. And that's probably going to be the best, especially with our Skeleton Duter. Yeah, I'm liking our Cloud Biter right now. It's pretty interesting. Let's teleport back over to this one. Yeah, like I said, really want to find the shop as soon as possible at this point. <laughs> this weapon's fun. It's definitely a bit of a challenge, but it's fun. Okay, we've got the boss now. This is the new boss as well. I did briefly see this guy and die to him. Um, he's, he's a bit of a harder boss, I'd say, but not anything impossible. We're going to ignore him for now, though. I'd really rather go to our shop before we deal with the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Good. On that real quick. Oh, 
Yeah. And you guys are just chilling in the fire, apparently. If you could get out of the fire, that'd be nice. So you, you blow yourself up and then move, I see. It's going to be a little bit of a time crunch to, to learn some of these, I think. Okay, boss is on me again, but we've got last few rooms over here. I am going to buy some ammo. Just get this thing up to full. I think it's going to be pretty good. We do have one of these challenges. I'm probably not going to take that right now. Right, what we got going on here then? So we got big eclipse. We got water but a bounce bullet. Block area on hurt. It's probably pretty good. We got stronger knockback. It's probably pretty good. Um, orbiting bullet sounds very fun. Faster movement speed is lovely. And then we got this, which is trading in our weapon accuracy for 25 extra. Honestly, yeah, the weapon accuracy isn't all that big of a deal to me. I'd rather have the 25, and then I can go and buy the uh, big Eclipse as well. And then bullet wall bounce. Why not? Just buy a ton of items. Why the hell not? I suppose it makes it slightly harder to upgrade the items you do want to upgrade in that case, but eh. Right, let's take on the boss. Is boss still in here? No, he's not. Gotta find him. Big old boss man. I don't know how good the do a do is, the skeleton do. But honestly, he's got a very big magazine, so. And the orbiting bullet seems pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this weapon so far. It seems to be doing pretty good damage. Seems like you can jump in the fire and then just jump out of it. Ooh, that was a very bad hit by me. But we've almost got him down to the next uh, life bar, which will give us a HP. I don't really know what the second phase of this guy does. I don't think I ever got to the second phase. Good thing is, our weapon is absolutely wrecking him. Okay, where's he going now? Oh, no, he's still here. Oh, no, no. Okay, so he, when he moves, he moves with bombs. That's kind of interesting. Right. Love how easy it is to chase the boss around now. God damn, yeah, this guy is a lot more intense with his corrupted version. There you go, we got him. This weapon's very nice. I'm liking it. Um, and then we got Milo Weapons Freeze. I think I'm going to go with Milo's Weapons Freeze, to be honest. I know I'm not using Freeze all that much, but still seems good. Um, do I want to do this? How many do you require? You require four. I'm going to give it a go. Like, the, the, the quests are... Um, Kind of tricky, but I feel like they're worth doing if you can. And yeah, we just go to the next floor. Right, melee weapons freeze. Yeah, this seems like it could be pretty good. Got to be careful with the current melee weapon though, because obviously it is quite slow. Um, red weapon for power up. Twenty-five percent larger area and longer time. No, thank you. Max HP for random bundles. I think that would put us in a very dangerous situation, so let's leave that for now. Let's just go. And I think I want to be using my melee weapon mainly for the freeze effects on regular enemies and my doot doot on the bosses. Off an emerald from its pile of bones. Oh yeah, also another new floor. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I saw this one before. This one's computer based. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Like technology habits. Ooh. Oh, so we've got like these, the, the the little bots that I use as the other characters, enemies this time. And there's that freezing coming into effect. I like that. Quickly pop in here. This is a challenge. We got defeat the enemies revive once. Melee attacks faster speed. Do not sprint. Dude, okay, that was a 
very bad hit right off the bat. Okay, that wasn't actually that bad. Exploding frog bullets, why the hell not? Melee attack speed seems good. We're going to need a lot more HP very, very quickly, though. Otherwise, we are going to die. We're going to be very, very cautious about these next few rooms. Because if we get hit, we are going to die. That's a weapon trading. Um, One minute. Do we have a weapon? Yeah, we have a weapon right here, don't we? Oh, you can only go in those once. Bugger. I was unaware. There's some more health there, look. Take out this little dude that's firing first. Slightly hard room here, but we got it. These enemies are just kind of tanky, to be honest. Taking a little while to kill. Good. We need one more HP. I'm sure that'll come our way very shortly. Trade weapon for power up? Maybe. Okay, there you go. We got that going. Right, back this way. Okay, we are finally safe. Got our full heal, full ammo. And we get our max HP back. Awesome. I'm feeling way, way, way safer now. We're more optimistic. Check out the shop. You want my dude? No, you can't have my skeleton dude. How dare you? How dare you even insinuate such a, such a thing? Expanded block. Melee wall break. Rat bullets. Let's just take all the bullets. They're all, they're all doing stuff. Why not? We've got exploding frog bullets, rat bullets. I've heard that some of them can be a bit detrimental to certain builds, but I'm I'm just curious to see how all this works. Oh, we got another 80 there. I'm definitely going to take that. Right, no way I'm not taking another 80. Right, back to the shop real quick and see if we can buy some more stuff. Even larger magazines, please. Um, that seems good too. Expanded block. I don't really know what that means. I'm going to buy it and see what happens. Right, power-ups. Because we've got... The protective gem coating has completely sealed the heart of the fallen protectors. You can feel it um, beating faintly inside, but steady. Interesting. I don't really know how to block, I don't remember, so we'll see how that works. <laughs> doot doot. Okay, this thing seems to be killing pretty quick with the bullet upgrades we've got going on right now, so I'm led to believe this is pretty good. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> kind of dragged me forward then when I did that. A weapon trading thing there.
Oh, God. Dude, you're shooting so many bullets. Chill out. Holy hell. Way too many bullets to be shooting, my guy. Don't stop moving. Camera, camera close-up. We can deal a camera close-up. Annoying, but not, like, completely detrimental to us. Depends on the enemies, really, as to how detrimental it ends up being. Taking out most enemies without a fuss, to be honest. There's something down here that's... Having some issues. There you go. Oh, this is a weapon, okay. I'll take it over the cloud by... I know we've got the melee thing going on right now, but it's not all that useful to us. Five instant health jars. God damn. Go with the bat attack. Right. Keep moving. Oh, here's our boss. He's just a big old computer. Oh, there's a cursor on me. Oh, dude, this thing kind of sucks. <laughs> this star throwing thing. Look how long it took to get rid of that thing, god damn. Do you know what? You suck. Putting you back. I thought you were going to be really good. My doot doot thrower is much better. Maybe it's something to do with orbiting bullets. That was a really bad hit to take there. Got this burn burn now. See how that serves us. Burn burn might be the way. You never know. Oh, there's some large corn about. I mean, that did a lot of damage. Oh! God, he turns into like a, a computer mouse. That's zooming. Okay, this thing seems pretty good. This is this little burr here that we've got. Not very much ammo, but. Okay, so so far this boss seems okay. I think I was just about to say this only this is the only attack that I really am worried for. I think this thing's so good, you know, because it's it's got three ammo per shot as opposed to its normal one per reload. And that's making it extra, extra good. Dude, the things that... Sh the enemies that shoot are, like, crazy. Trade, um... Wait, I don't know what I'm trading here. We've got some HP around though, which is nice. Right, the trade thing's gone. Where did it go? Did he break it? Can he do that? Take out the other enemies first. Um, give me some more HP. Thank you. Cursor coming at me now. Whoa! That cursor makes like a massive explosive radius. Okay, this burr, this burn burr is awesome with the items we have. <laughs> this guy's death animation is pretty ace as well. Oh, can I kill you? I don't think I can. I think he's just a dude. Even bigger clips with this thing seems good. We've got so much HP on the floor, but nothing really to do with it, which is a shame. 20 shards? Yeah, why not? 
There you go, look at that. 60 shards. Okay. Our essence is here. Next floor. Pretty happy with how things are going right now. This is an interesting run. I was thinking about going melee to start with, but things changed. Um, I think our main thing at the minute, our main issue is we might want to try and, yeah, get max HP. Uh, we don't have that leveled up at all, do we? No, I'm going to do this. I like the rat bullets. I think they've been good to us. But I, I need max HP at this point. We're getting to the late game now. We only have one more floor to actually gain stuff. Um, and realistically, I want to be at four max HP for the end game boss fight. Because otherwise, I feel like I'm going to be in trouble. Now, is this a new floor as well? I don't think it is. Holy shit. Alright, die in the tractor explosion. Oh wait, these might be this might be a slightly new floor because I'm I, I don't recognise some of these enemies. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't feel like I recognise the um, pumpkin fe fellas. Unless I'm just, yeah, blanking because I haven't played this game in a little bit. Oh, this has become a weapon now. Wasn't this thing really goddamn good before? Let's try this out. I remember this thing being really good. So it got low ammo, but... Having, it, having four shots in it's pretty good. Sacrifice power up. What power up is that again? Expanded block, yeah. I'm doing it. I don't really know what this expanded block does. And I was just saying I want it to be at 4 max HP. And now we are. So I feel way more secure. Okay, yeah, this thing seems good. I thought we're great students. Then guys do it. So cute. And obviously with this as well, we are... Uh, freezing enemies, because I think this counts, even though it's a, a, a weapon that shoots, I think it counts as melee because of the way it works. I'm not entirely sure. I definitely saw a freeze come out there, so... Unless it, like, does a melee swing and then shoots a projectile, that's kind of like a multifaceted weapon. Ooh. This is definitely a new boss. Oh god, look at him. Holy hell. His, his appearance changed rather rapidly there. I'm just going to quickly go through here because I noticed something that I missed. Apparently on the map. There's a loot portal somewhere in here that I did not see. Where the hell is it? There it is. Stuff to earn. Don't know if that's going to be better than this right now, but if I run out of ammo I can come back for that I guess. Yeah, I don't know how much damage... Oh, fuck. Oh, this is the guy with the, that goddamn bird that we dealt with before. It was a pain. Um, I don't know if this is the... Um, if, if, if the damage from the rat bullets that we had is what's lost us damage here. I feel like I'm not doing as much, but it could just be this weapon. Let's go back and grab this. With them being orbiting bullets, they can be a little touchy sometimes. He's off. I don't know. Sickle weapon seems like it was doing actually okay, thinking about it. So I'm going to take ammo for that. Especially on room clears. Room clears, it was doing a, a fine job. Comes to like two or three shot most enemies. Oh god. Oh god, there's so much going on. This game's so hectic sometimes. Hop in here. Max HP. Defeated enemies revive once. There's that. I was like, are those enemies? I, I'm unsure. Seems like they are. Oh, of course, they revive once. Cool. I'm sat here like, why didn't that thing die? That's literally the whole point of this challenge room. Okay. <laughs> 
Do you know what? Let's trade this in. We've got all the weapons to use. And it gave us another weapon anyways, the Weed Whacker. Let's see how good the Weed Whacker is, shall we? Seems pretty good in terms of the amount of knocking around that it does with the enemies. Give them a good old thwacking. Oh, I hate this enemy. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, dude. He's fully frozen, though. I like that. He's tree, though. Look how much damage it's taking. Fuck me. Look forever. Right, so it's max HP over there. Yeah, it is. And then we get ourselves. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Right, let's keep going. Pumpkin nest. That's something I didn't notice before. Right. Guy's almost taken care of in terms of his health bars, so let's get on that. Got whatever the hell this thing is. Is, a, is that a knife with guns? That looks like a knife with guns. I uh, defeated enemies, spawn cooper, um, computerized cursor attacks. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's just the cursors that follow us. I see. We can deal with that. Oh, it's it's not always just those cursors. There's a few different types. I see. We just gotta pay attention to which ones do what. HP from in here as well. Nice. Oh, this is okay. I like this. Um, beacon powered shotgun turret. Also aim bullets, that sounds awesome. Look what this little line coming from us is. Who knows? We'll see. Right, this the one seems good. He sounds awesome. Seems to do a lot of damage too. I think we can get behind this. And then you will put in here. Yeah. Right, keep moving through. Um, I think we're good on both of those right now. Oh, I see. Okay, so the auto aim gets near an enemy and then locks on. Okay, we're going to be doing a lot of damage with that, I think. Does mean we need to be careful about enemies and their whereabouts, which enemy it's auto aiming on, sort of thing. See you both over there. Oh god, that was close. Ooh, what's all these? Calm down, you. Dude, we're getting loads of these. I don't know where they're all coming from, but we're getting loads of them. Okay, right. How's that? How's the boss looking now? One more thing, one more health bar to go, I think. Yeah, it must be this one. Go. Nice. Oh, yeah, see, see what I mean? Look, we froze that enemy there, but we, we definitely didn't use melee, so something, some type of our attack is applying as melee damage, and I'm not really sure which part it is. How am I not hitting this guy? Okay. Boss, where art thou? It's only to find a shop yet, I think.
think it should, should be here. Yeah, there you go. We've got tons to play around with here. No, and... No? Okay, it's just a weird offshoot. Hello! Hello. We'll take that. We'll go with the move speed. Thumpable ice buttons up here, sounds good. Faster reload, sounds good. And... I guess we don't need anything else. Yeah, let's, let's, let's leave all that for now then, I guess. Right. Boss time. Where art thou? You're almost dead already, right? We've already done... Yeah, we've already done quite a lot of damage to him. Just careful. I was just about to say, just fucking careful, that goddamn crow. That's, that's going to be the most damaging thing to me by far. Ooh, those ice buttons. Ooh, those ice buttons are good. Ooh, fuck me. Okay. I don't know what the crow's gonna do when it's corrupted, but I'm not looking forward to finding out. Oh, dude. Okay. This, the one thing, I'm definitely saving the ammo on that for uh, the boss, because that is crazy damage. That, that was awesome. Um, three more seconds longer orbit time and one more bounce. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Look at him, he's so cute now. Oh, I killed him. There you go, that was good floor. And I think we're ready for the next floor. This is the last boss, but... That sword weapon, oh boy, that seemed to absolutely crush him with the upgrades we've got, so I'm expecting something very good. No way I'd trade that away. We're so fast as well, goddamn. Um, and we'll just feed this guy as much as we can, because we don't need it anymore. He gave us... Poison Stomp, extra ammo, and the Rat Bullets again. We got we got them back. Okay, so if they were if we were losing damage for not having them, we've got them back now, anyways. Right, last floor. I think we've got a win under our belt right now with the amount of HP we've got and stuff, but I don't want to say it before it happens. But I'm hopeful. Oh, there's HP here as well, which is awesome. I forget that it brings stuff from the other area. Okay, so first things first, as always, it's just stop the stomp on everything. I don't want this thing chasing me. I think it's an enemy, I'm not sure. Boss should spawn. Yep. There you go. Take out all the thingies first before we just deal with the boss. That one was very quick. Nice. Okay, boss is sorted now. Don't know what the hell I got hit by there. Again, don't know what I got hit by there. Okay, quickly, before I take too much more damage. Because I'm going to get stuck at some point. I'm going to go back to the start of the room and just pick up that HP. Dude, the damage. The damage. Crazy, this thing's nuts. I always forget I've got a stomp on him. 
We've got to remember that those things do an insane amount of damage when they hit. Kind of got to make sure to jump over them. Keep taking the ammo way too early. I keep spawning the wrong goddamn bosses. Bosses that are really hard for me to hit. I'm gonna spawn some bosses so I can hit you, please. God damn, do I absolutely hate invulnerability phases on bosses. There to waste your time. Come on, my guy. Oh, dude, stop using this boss. I can't attack him. I can't attack these ones, though. There you go. Boom. Boom. The puppeteer has denied your entry. I wonder how I do like enter this at some point. Maybe it's from looping? Darkness. How long is this episode? This episode's only 36 minutes. Let's loop back to the start and see if there's a unlock for looping. Sacrifice three to break free. Do I get to pick? Oh, I see, I see. There, there's a certain degree of uh, pickingness to it. I don't know what I picked the first time. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. It's kind of cool. It's not completely in your control, but you have some degree of influence. I don't know what the first thing I lost was, I'll be honest. Oh, I did lose my bur, though. Okay, so now there's corrupted enemies on the regular floors, I see. There is some extra challenge here and the enemies you have to fight. This is probably my favourite weapon I've used yet. It's so good. Just a knife with Uzis. I need to stop taking damage. At the minute I'm taking way too much. Well, it's become Herming Orbs. Try that out. I'm curious to see how that works with this. It could ruin the build, but we're on a loop, so I don't really care. That plus the auto in bullets might be kind of interesting to see. Ow, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Some of these corrupted enemies taking a good while to kill. Shop, how are you? Max HP for shards, why not? Drop discount. Should have taken that first, but oh well, we got it now. Dude, these corrupted enemies are actually kind of crazy. Oh yeah, I can't. The corrupted enemies are really strong. Anyhow, congratulations regardless, we got a win. 
We tried looping. It didn't work, but we tried. Either way, we got quite a lot of extra of these to do whatever we like with. I think we're getting near to unlocking pretty much everything we need to. Either way, back to the start. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, well, we'll see if we got any of these complete as well. Oh, hell. So what is this then? Is that all? The, that's, the, that's the boss one, isn't it? Does that do anything? That's weird. Does, does, it, does it not do anything? I'm curious. Anyways, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Definitely a fun episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.